We just saw an E. Howard number no. five banjo, almost uh, equally desirable, and many of them still exist, or what's called the Howard Regulator number no. seventy, or Howard seventy. You see these uh, often at auctions, uh, collector, uh, collectors fighting over them. These were common clocks earlier on. They were often in every uh, uh, tea station in Boston, for example, spread around any, any place where you needed a durable, high-quality clock. These weren't inexpensive clocks, but as mentioned, they weren't designed for, for houses. They were designed for commercial or industrial settings. This one happens to be a little rare, a little more important, because it's the next size up from the standard one. Howard is famous for making the same style in varying sizes. That banjo we looked at, the number five banjo, that was the smallest. They made them all the way up to number one, which was much bigger and used in places where you needed to be able to see the clock from farther away. Normally, the Howard 70 was a 12-inch dial. This is a 14-inch dial, which could almost double the value of this because much rarer, uh, harder to find. We have the uh, the uh, typical black, gold, and red glasses too. This color that's sort of a brick red is famous when these glasses get broken. People go to great lengths to try to recreate the color. We also see as well that in this case we have the uh, existing patterning still on the on the pendulum bob. This uh, is a pattern that's done into the lacquer or very faintly into the metal, so it's not often that you find that pattern remaining on the pendulum bob because it can get wiped off very easily. So if you have a larger Howard 70, you have a pendulum bob that, uh, that retains its patterning. If you have an original weight inside where actually the number 70 is cast into the weight, you have a great collectible item. We'll talk more about what Howard made, but now you've seen probably the most popular and collectible models, the number 70 and the, and the number 5 banjo we saw previously.